There's a lot of hard-to-process talk about the apocalyptic consequences of global warming, but what kind of effects will it have close to home? What will global warming do to our parks and gardens? It might seem like warming will be good for plant life with more CO2 in the air, and that may be true long-term, but on an immediate level, global warming will bring change. Change, generally speaking, is not good for the kinds of plants we love and nurture. They can't move if the environment they're in becomes unsuitable, and they adapt very slowly. But some plants are built for unstable and deserved environments. Weeds and invasives. These are the kind of plants that will reap the benefits of increased CO2 and decreased competition. Loss of biodiversity is a nebulous concept that can be difficult to imagine, but when it comes to plant life it's going to look a lot like this. Invasive species are already a huge problem by themselves, and with global warming adding further pressure to our native plants, the problem will only get worse. Warmer climates will increase the range of species like Japanese knotweed and tree-killing bark beetles. More CO2 in the air will also make local problems like poison ivy more toxic. Thankfully, as lovers of plants, there's a lot we can do to help. Plants are still the best way of taking carbon out of the atmosphere back into the ground, and by caring for them and promoting them, we're helping at least a little bit. Getting involved with creating more green spaces and preserving existing forests can help even more to stabilize our environment. Global warming is a fixable problem, and with your involvement, future generations of plant lovers can enjoy the same gardens and forests as you do.